Okay, folks, this is Ethereal. Um, a member of the forum asked uh, about a script earlier, and Roseword975 um, actually gave the member almost everything they needed to write it for themselves. It was a really simple um, request. Um, but the member replied that they wouldn't know where to begin. Um, I understand that. I've been there before. I think all of us have. So I thought I'd do this because I haven't seen a tutorial like this. Really, just beginner um, tutorial. Um, so if you're using Grease Monkey, you should probably switch over to Chrome, install Tamper Monkey. It's a lot more beginner friendly. Um, it'll help you learn, whereas Grease Monkey kind of just expects you to know what you're doing. Um, we're going to start by writing a new script. We're going to get rid of all of that. I'm a noob. I really don't know what that means. It's probably important. I have never, ever noticed that I needed it, and I don't notice it in everybody's scripts. Um, match. Match is a little different than include. They use different rules, and I haven't quite figured out um, matches rules. We are going to want jQuery because it's a lot less typing. So we're going to need a library. I think Kaduchi uses the most recent one I've seen. All hail Kaduchi. <laughs> I think that's irony, right? I could be wrong. Uh, okay, so we're going to copy that there. Um, that's requiring the jQuery library, um, which we're going to need to use the little snippet that Roseword975 provided. Um, we're also going to need a website. So a website that'll tell the script to run, run on this website. It's not the top URL. It is um, the frame source. So we're going to view frame source. And actually, this is kind of neat. If you want to work on a script when the hit is not available, you get rid of the view source, um, reload the page, and it'll load the hit without all the Amazon stuff around it, which is kind of neat. Um, and the hit does not need to be available most times. But we don't need to worry about that right now. We're going to take checkout 51 because we want that website. And we want to run our script on that website. We're going to put a little asterisk there to say, hey, anything, whether whatever number, whatever hit, whatever receipt is after that, it doesn't matter. Run on checkout 51. Um, and then the magic. This is really simple. You guys are going to be angry how simple this is. So he put an apostrophe there. Um, it should have been a semicolon, but other than that, I mean, that's exactly what you needed. We need our input ID. So say every 411 Richmond hit has toilet paper as the number one thing, right? I was messing with it earlier, so that's why it's there. We want to put toilet paper in there. Every time we refresh, we want toilet paper in the top little... Um, input field right here, right? So we need its ID, okay? Now, not every um, input will have an ID. Sometimes it'll just have a name, and you can pretty easily Google how to call an element by its name. Um, and you could do that here if you wanted to. But, uh, yeah, so that's its ID, input ID. You can see it pop up um, above the ID as well, um, above here. So it's item one, that's really easy. Um, the hash symbol says it's an ID. So the dollar sign is jQuery, then it says, hey jQuery, grab that element with an ID of item one. No capitalization, um, no spaces, and input the a value of toilet paper. Um, and that's really it. So it says, hey, jQuery, grab that thing with an ID of item one, input a value of toilet paper. And we could do it with um, item two if we wanted. So we're going to save that. That's a new user script. We'll change that to 411 something. Um, save it again. And then since it's on, yes, it's on, we should be able to reload the site and see toilet paper pop up in our first input field, which it, it did. Um, cool little thing, just to show you it's not you know, a trick or whatever. I don't have a separate script running or whatever. We'll do item two. I'm pretty sure that's 
this element's ID. Uh, let's see. Load, load, item two. Yeah. So we should be able to refresh, and it shouldn't be in the top one anymore. It should be in the second one. Sorry, my internet's really slow. And there it goes, loaded in the second one. You can see there's a little lag time. Um, that's when the script runs um, and my internet speed causing lag. But that's really it, that simple thing, val, whatever. Um, I think that's the end of the tutorial. I'm going to stop now. Goodbye, folks. Hopefully this helps somebody.